Yes, I am going to have an unpopular opinion about this. Don't get me wrong, vampires are amazing. I liked vampires ever since I was a little boy. As I grew up, I noticed that a lot of people liked Twilight more than other vampire flicks. True Blood, yeah. Bram Stoker's Dracula from 1992, and then there was the original with Bela Lugosi. But vampires, I agree with Steve Niles on this. Steve Niles created 30 Days of Night, and I do agree with him on this. Vampires did get lost as romantic characters, but then for a brief moment they were viewed as cool characters in the late 80s with Near Dark and The Lost Boys. Those two films showed us that being a vampire was cool. If you want to see Bill Paxton and Kiefer Sutherland playing cool vampires, go ahead and see those two. Kiefer Sutherland in The Lost Boys and Bill Paxton, God bless his soul, in Near Dark. But 30 Days of Night shows us who vampires are meant to be. They're not seen as these heartthrob characters, men and women that want to seduce their love interests just so they could have blood. No. Every human on the planet, regardless if you're a man, woman, or a child, or a person old enough to be a grandparent, you are food to them. You are a fuel source for a vampire. They just want your blood. They don't want to seduce you. Steve Niles created the modern vampire, what vampires are meant to be. This is what a vampire is. Think of it like, it's almost like I Am Legend. I Am Legend came out later that, that December 2007. Yes, 30 Days of Night was released in 2007. And then two months after 30 Days of Night, I Am Legend was released. The difference between I Am Legend, the night crawlers or the dark seekers as they're called, and the 30 Days of Night vampires is, I Am Legend was a virus. And 30 Days of Night, they were mythical creatures, modern mythical creatures. Uh, just like in I Am Legend, the, the Dark Seekers, they don't do swell at night, but they do maintain some of their human instincts, despite their savagery and just, you know. That's one way of seeing this vampire-like creature, but I pref the way I prefer to see a vampire is from 30 Days of Night. You know, they're, they don't have the four fangs. They have a mouth full of those razor-sharp teeth. It's not just the two teeth or the the bottom teeth, the four teeth. These vampires are monsters, apex predators. They're brutal, graphic, and intelligent, okay? I've never seen any intelligent, well, I mean, of course, there's Hannibal Lecter, Jigsaw, and all the other intelligent villains in the movie world, but I've never seen any, any villain as intelligent as the head vampire in 30 Days of Night, Marlo. Marlo is played by Danny Houston. All the actors did amazing in this film, but for the big praise that I give to for 30 Days of Night, it is the vampire actors, especially Danny Houston. A lot of people remember him from Wonder Woman, the number 23. He's a character actor. I will always remember Danny Houston for being in 30 Days of Night. That's his best performance. I'm surprised he didn't get any nominations I mean, sure, he could have gotten a People's Choice or, and you know, a Golden Globe. But I'm actually surprised the Academy didn't bother to recognize him for 30 Days of Night. I guess times have changed. That was 2007. This is 2021, about to be 2022. So, um, let's see what happens. So, that's it for part one of my review. This is just about, to me, this is just about the vampire basics of who these vampires were in 30 Days of Night. So for part two, this one's going to be my review for the film, okay?